welcome back to my channel today and we are doing a brand new sims 2 speed build today and so today i am bringing you probably my favorite build i've done thus far in pleasant view on the mountaintop because if you don't remember a couple of weeks ago i think two months ago whenever i posted that video i had built dirk dreamer a brand new home in pleasant view because he recently just graduated from sim state university and he needed a place to live but he didn't have all the funds just like in his bank account to afford a brand new house so he bought a fixer upper home that he's currently renovating right now at this current moment which is kind of difficult because he doesn't have a lot of money in his bank account to really renovate and landscape and remodel like the, the entire ground the way he wants it to look like just because he is still a broke graduate college student and i can relate because i am one of those people ha <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> but for this build right here, I'm currently creating a small one bedroom, one bathroom home here at the very top of Pleasant View for Rose Allen. And Rose Allen is like one of those Sims that you didn't think you would really get to know and love, but she is not one of those people. She is a very lovely, cool person to hang out with, but she's one of those Sims that is very shy, but she has a very extroverted spirit towards herself like she's very neat but she's very shy a little bit lazy playful somewhat serious but she's very very nice but she's a Sagittarius no she's not a Sagittarius she's a Cancer so if you're a Cancer let me know down in the comments below what your zodiac sign is if you're a Cancer or not but overall she's a Cancer and I have my game open up so I can read you the description in the Sims 2 of what a Cancer is it basically says that they are, there is nothing extreme about cancers. They are very well balanced. They can also be very changeable, which can be good or bad depending on the situation. And that kind of speaks to me a lot with, with Rose, just because she has always and will forever probably love Dirk Dreamer. Because around like this time when she was like, you know, figuring out what she wanted to do with her life, where she wanted to go, she was thinking on where she went to live at first she was going to live in the city downtown but then she was like no it didn't seem right because i built a whole new apartment block for her and stuff like that and she didn't want that she didn't like it so she ended up leaving that apartment block and going to pleasant view and realized that she had funds in her banking account from many many years ago after her parents sadly passed away in a random like car accident which is very very sad but she has no other relatives nowhere to be seen it's just her and that's it so she kind of took the funds that she had disposable to her from the family funds from her previous um home in the city when she like rented out her apartment for a while on a uh, simslo 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 yeah it's like zillow but for sims basically she rented her apartment kind of uh for a while to make some extra income looking for a new home while she was going to university and stuff like that and she actually went to the same university as Dirk Dreamer and here's where it gets a little bit twisted for the past 15 years Rose has been secretly obsessed with Dirk Dreamer when he was dating Lilith Pleasant at the time she was like hmm Lilith must go Lilith needs to literally leave out of like Dirk Dreamer's life and so here's what happened so if you don't remember I did a stream I think I yeah, I think I did a stream and also like a current house update video a while back ago the, all the links will be down below to that playlist as well so you can kind of catch up on what's happening but I honestly didn't think this would be a thing and it happened so Rose with her kind, shy, soul, cancer self that she is, she basically was like, she kind of broke up Lilith and Dirk, but it is not the way you think it would happen. Like, Dirk didn't cheat on anyone, Lilith didn't cheat on anyone, they just kind of grew apart, but Dirk think, thought that Lilith cheated on him with another person, so Rose like, hey, Joe, whatever his name is, couldn't, couldn't realize what his name was at all, just called him Joe that's it just joe but she said hey joe you want to you know do a little secret project you know cause some pranks and whatnot with me and you know for our last hurrah before we go off to you know to college and stuff and it was like sure rose anything for you and joe was you know crushing on out on um, rose for a while back in the sandbox days and closer up to middle school so joe was like you know sure i got you back we can definitely do this and 
Joe was like, hey, what if we, you know, pull a prank on Dirk Dreamer and Lilith Pleasant on their relationship? Because they didn't really think that they were, you know, happy, go lucky, hunky dory, doing all that type of stuff. Like they didn't see themselves together as a couple. But Rose was like, I'll help Rose. I'll like, yeah, Joe was like, I'll help Rose out by any means necessary. And so Joe basically kind of invited over Dirk and Lilith at the same time for like a little hurrah get together or like a farewell party, basically, before they move off into their different lives. And he was like, hey, Lilith, you want to come outside with me for a second? And, uh, you know, like at that time, like towards like the end of their high school era, Dirk was a little bit skeptical, a little bit suspicious about Lilith and like what was going on because they weren't really seeing each other that much throughout their teenage lives that much. Even though she was hanging out with some other people, they didn't really get together that much to be a couple, basically. And Joe took Lilith outside, talking to her, and then planted a kiss on her. Dirk saw it and immediately was like, you know what? That's the last straw. I, I, I knew it. I knew it was a thing. I knew it happened. I knew you and Joe were a thing. You don't have to explain yourself. I know your true colors. And right then and there and that party basically ended right there and joe was like you know i'm just gonna walk the other way like nothing ever happened um he later on got beat up by dirk so you know stuff like that happened but dirk broke up with liz right then and there and rose was like yes i got my chance now things are working in my favor she's a little bit evil um she's very charismatic so she can kind of talk her way into things very very well um and so when she did that she was like okay good i can do this dirk will be mine i will marry him i'll have his kids stuff like that we'll move in together do all the things and then so she got a full ride scholarship she got basically the top of the line all the scholarships that she, she could earn dead parents uh good art skill stuff like that and good grades in school too she was an A plus student as well as Dirk. And when she did that, she got into Sim State University and moved into a little townhouse for a while. And she did that all for her years. And she graduated the top of her class with Dirk. But Dirk didn't really technically know Rose that very well. And so when she found out that Dirk was seeing somebody else and proposed to somebody else that wasn't her, she was like, you know what? I might need to conjure up another plan, but more in a civil way because she doesn't want to go to jail. Like she doesn't want to, you know, be caught in the act because Joe doesn't want to be associated with Rose anymore. Kind of like fell off the bandwagon for a while. So like they don't talk as much. So she has to figure out how she's going to break up Dirk and his fiance so they could be together. You know what I mean? Psycho crazy and psycho crazy energy. And so she's, Right now, figuring out what she wants to do with her life, she's going to start working on, like, journalism for a while. And that's, like, that's what she kind of went to school for. That's been her dream for, like, so many years. And she low-key wants to write a love book about Dirk. Or not really put Dirk, his name, like, in, a, in, a, in the book. More so, like, an alias name. Like, saying, we're going to call him Sam or whatever. And use that name in the book to signify, this is Dirk Dreamer. Or like a uh, Turk, 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 Steamer. Turk Steamer is the alias name in the book that she was going to write. Now, like Sam does sound does sound make any sense, but Turk Steamer is the name of her romantic book. And when she finishes it, she's going to basically send it off into the world to make royalties and see if it catches Dirk Dreamer's attention because. He's like, he, he kind of thinks he knows Rose, but doesn't really know Rose that well. He knows like he like there's a new neighbor in the town. So they'll probably come up and saying, hey, I'm your new neighbor. I'm Dark Dreamer. Stuff like that. They'll kind of get to know each other a little bit more. And she's just going to play it safe for a while to kind of gain his trust, be friends, stuff like that. And kind of see what happens in the long run. He's going to let the marriage happen. Yeah, she's going to let the marriage happen. So she doesn't sound psychotically crazy um at the very start so she'll do that for a while but later on she's gonna like okay you know things are happening relationship growing we're friends we're doing things together we're hanging out we're going on vacation together stuff like that friend friends friends giving 
that's a thing. So that's happening sooner rather than later. And I'm kind of excited to see where this relationship ends and like ends up being like, because I can see Rose and Dirk being, you know, a very happy couple, but I don't really see them lasting that long because Rose is literally crazy. I'm not kidding. Last time she was like meddling in someone's relationship and they broke up because of her, things didn't end well. The one person found out they no longer talk. She moved away. She moved to another another town because of that. And this was like back in middle school. Like, so she has like a very crazy past of meddling in people's relationships and lives and dealing with like crazy things that she couldn't really control. And I think that's why she's like so obsessed with Dirk and how secondly Dirk was the first person to be nice to her and kind of introduced her to like the town and the school and stuff like that when she first moved from River Blossom Hills to Pleasant View with her parents. And when she did that, I was like, okay, Dirk's pretty cool. Immediately fell in love with him. And now she's obsessed. And so we're going to like hold it out and see what happens. But I'm going to play a little bit off camera when um, Dirk, Dirk's fiance kind of comes into the mix in their newfound home. I'll probably eventually like renovate the home a little bit as time goes on, but I will do a current household update video so you can kind of understand what's happening and what I've what I did off camera because I haven't really done a current household update in so long in The Sims 2 for Pleasant View just because I didn't have time and also like nothing wasn't really happening that much because I if you didn't see I did renovate Brandy Broke's home because she just had her fourth child her fourth child and she's also about to get married too so i renovated her home made it more grown up more mature and Bo's about to go to college soon and camden's gonna be also going to high school soon he's now a teenager i think or soon to be a teenager and her newfound baby skip broke jr is soon to be a toddler so things are like looking up for brandy but evidently things might fall apart sooner rather than later but I don't really know when that will happen only time will tell but going back to Rose and like all that stuff like that she's just like moving on with her life trying to figure out what she wants to do and still focusing on Dirk but as for her cat Sir Charles is like she found him as a stray in the street around the city when she used to live in the city downtown before uh no 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 after her parents died and after she graduated college at sim state university she moved to the city that like for a couple like two months found a, a cat adopted sir charles moved out of the apartment still rented it out to make some extra income and found this new place that i'm building so she's still making money here and there from the apartment renting out from sims low and doing things for herself and that's why she has like this nice fancy cozy one bedroom one bathroom ikea home and I use a lot of the Ikea stuff pack um, items in this game because I think Ikea is like a really good store to shop at. Very affordable sometimes and very good quality items. I have an Ikea desk for myself, like my IRL office and Ikea desk that only costs $209 USD. And I think I kind of want to replicate that in this home for Rose because she's a very simplistic, cool, quirky, shy person sim that you can definitely get along with but you watch out she is a little bit crazy so that's kind of what i kind of did for her home i did really i didn't want to go above and beyond with so much stuff in her home because sims and the sims 2 are a little bit dumb and they can't multitask that well and they can't always do the best things when stepping over objects or through objects like the sims 4 does so it's a little bit different when it comes to gameplay and objects being in their way basically but overall that being said i think we should go ahead and hop into the tour of this video so you can go in and see how this build came to be in real time and you can kind of see rose and star charles in person with your own two eyeballs so that should be fun and you kind of understand like her personality and stuff like that and what's going on but overall let's go ahead and hop into the tour so now that we're in the game i can finally show you the house in real time where it's not all sped up and confusing and where i cut things out and this is probably the portion of the video that you're probably watching because i 
also implemented time codes in the description so you can kind of understand where things are at in the video. But overall, I really enjoyed how I did this house because normally I tend to go a little bit crazy with the plants and the clutter and also the terrain paint, but I wanted to keep it very simple and kind of man-made where I did use a lot of terrain paint, but it looked very natural to me. So I kind of liked what I did with different parts of the terrain paint and build and buy mode. But for the vines, I really like them because I have like that very old, cottagey touch to it in a way and I was going to add a window up here but I did use constrained floor elevation to make the walls a little bit shorter so it doesn't look a little bit too crazy but overall I wanted to keep it just like this but as we go into the inside I for one think it's not too like compact close together but it still has that you know you can move around and do things and get to different places inside of the build so personally to me I really adore just like the closeness that it brings and that it's like not too overwhelming and I need to delete that as well but I really enjoyed just like the green and also the white and I utilized a lot of the Ikea stuff pack items in this game like the wallpaper uh, some of the uh, CD shelves, also the TV and the couch and the rug and the clock too. And you know what? What I was thinking, what if the Sims team collaborated with Ikea again in The Sims 4? I wouldn't be mad about that because personally, I love Ikea and I have an Ikea desk myself. So um, let's make it happen. But this is the interior. I kind of kept it all open planned. And usually I don't like keeping my houses open planned because I don't know what to do with the space. So I try to close it off a little bit around each area. Like the kitchen's kind of closed up, but still it's a little bit open. Uh, the dining room's pretty small because only one person lives here and a cat. And then for the living room, it's just, it's just the living room with a bunch of Ikea and furnace for your fireplace, which is a, a vice, a very small fireplace because usually the game fireplaces are pretty huge. And I like that there's like small ones that you can add into your home or your apartment or whatever you want to do with them. They just fit so perfectly in a small little nook. And I might leave it just like this and not rotate it where it fits in this corner. But overall, it looks pretty good. And they also added in a little hamster cage, which I think I should probably stock for now. And then over here, I added in this lovely Ikea bed, desk, and basic, basic base game computer. It's a very dinosaur computer with your floppy disk you can insert into the floppy disk drive thing, whatever you wanna call it, <laughs> that thing. And then I also utilize, I think, one of the collections in The Sims 2. I don't know what stuff packet game came with, but I like the brown interior with some of the hints of wood and also the basic tub. But as we move on to the backyard, now this, this is where I probably have the most fun doing because there's a cheat in the game called Bullprop snap objects to grid false and that allows you to freely place the items wherever you want without having it snap to the grid like the game usually does it but I like what I did with this little garden piece right here and I added some little garden rabbit gnomes and then some rocks and then the stove not stove the grill outside and then we have some planting plots right here that your sims can go over here and plant some different things like tomatoes and you get some extra stuff in here as you kind of get familiarized with planting things in the game and then we have your composting bin over here and your nice little um bench as well but i wanted to show you the sim that i created and her name is rose allen and i like it because she's like so so quirky and so cool and very like nice but crazy. And like I said, she's a cancer. She's a bit, she's, a, she's very neat, but she's also very shy, but kind of has like that outgoing extroverted spirit to her in a way when you think about it. But she's like somewhat lazy, but somewhat active. She's very serious, but playful. And, but she's very, very nice. And she's like doing well for herself, which is pretty great. She has a lot of interest in like food, crime, fashion, a lot of travel, I realized. And she's a workaholic. She does a little bit, love a little bit of weather, but she's slowly getting there. I'm going to have her work on her hobbies because I just made her and kind of worked and cheated some of her skills and 
just because I want to add some personality to her persona, basically. And but she's gonna have her I'm gonna work on her nature and her film and literature hobby enthusiasm uh area. And overall, I really like what I did with her. And she's also in the journalism career at level four. Her skills are pretty snazzy, if I do say so myself. But as we go into the interior for this cat right here, Sir Charles. Come on, Sir Charles. Sir Charles. Stop scratching. But anyway, here's Sir Charles. And he's pretty cool. And I kind of like his like happy-go-lucky spirit that he has. I can't really technically learn more about him because he's a he's just a cat and only knows one person he's a scorpio he's a he's a genius hyper independent aggressive but he's like a pig pen but he's also friendly so like he, he has like that scorpio spirit and it reads while somewhat withdrawn from social activities scorpios are forceful and determined in more practical pursuits and in a way it makes sense and i might get sir charles a job because in the sims 2 you can actually get your pet give your pets jobs to do and they can make money and i find that super cool that you're you can do that for your pets so i find that very very cool so personally i'm gonna definitely do that in the future i'm gonna buy this hamster right here i'm gonna call him dirk <laughs> dirk dreamer the hamster because i think that'd be kind of cool because if you didn't read didn't you hear my previous thing that i did i said that um that she's obsessed with Dirk Dreamer. So anything that she does is basically like for Dirk Dreamer and only him. And I kind of like that spirit for her. And I think she's going to definitely achieve her goals if she's going to ever marry and have kids with Dirk Dreamer. You just never really know. The possibilities are endless. But like that being said, I'm going to go ahead and actually wrap up this video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below as always of what do you thought of this lovely speed build. And if you want to download this house, I will leave a link down below in the description. I will definitely make a short video on how to download Sims 2 houses in The Sims 2 or how I basically do it because there's different ways you can do it. But I'm going to show you two different methods on how to download Sims 2 houses if you're kind of curious. But overall, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye!